Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. So fresh in, uh, fresh in the uh, Earthcraft Oracle by Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson. So <clears throat> this one is published by Hay House. Yes, I thought it was Hay House. I'm pretty sure it's Hay House. Yes, it's Hay House. Um, this is exciting. They Hay House has two, at least that I'm aware of at time of filming, they have two decks right now um, that are out this year that are made by um, non-white creators. Um, and I'm actually, we're all familiar. I have not seen any walkthroughs of this deck yet, um, but we're all familiar with the deck creator. We're just not familiar, creators, we're not familiar with this artist. Different artist, different publisher. Same um, creators, however, that did Seasons of the Witch, Samhain Oracle, as well as um, the Yule Oracle and uh, the soon-to-be-released Beltane Oracle. The difference is, of course, that instead of working with an, Giada Rose as the illustrator, um, they're working with uh, Danielle Boudou Fortuné. I hope I'm I'm hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, yeah, that's exciting. It, I think, as I understand it, um, Danielle is, uh, I believe she's from Trinidad. We'll find out. Let's look. Earth Mother, I worship thee for my body is my temple, my religion reclaimed. So beautiful. I adore these deck creators. Um, I think they're brilliant and I'm so excited for this. So um, sweet little book, you know, very, very typical Hay House um, publishing stuff. This is the first time I've done any supporting of Hay House in a very, very, very long time. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Trinidadian poet, artist, empath, and magic maker with her own website. I love too that they've, they have um, highlighted the creators on the back with all of their information, where you can find them, their websites, you know, they're so brilliant. And I'm really loving their contributions. I'm excited to see. I know that they added more diversity into the next two uh, rock pool decks, which is great. Very exciting. Um, I really wanted to see a deck with more diversity made by them. And oh my god, look at this. Look at the backings. I love this so much. Screw it. We'll look at the book in a minute. Let's look at the cards. Let's look at the cards. They're so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. I love these so much. They're so beautiful. Oh, the tape. I don't think it did any damage. Different card stock than I would have expected, guys. Very different. It's thinner um, from what I normally would see with Hay House, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's very matte, slightly satiny, but yeah, it's very, it's kind of a, it's okay. It'll do. It's, you know, I'm not really, I like, I like a lot of different types. Of, oh, uh-oh. Oh, I thought maybe that was the case. It's cut unevenly. Guys, come on. I know that probably won't bother very many people, but it's just clear, like, it's in four chunks. Right, so here's a chunk. It very clearly like cuts right there after the first 12. It cuts right there. And yep, it cuts there. So we've got, oh, look at that, so beautiful. It's not gonna bother me in the long run, but that's annoying. I really, that's just really annoying. Mm. Oh wow. You know, not everything's perfect. Um, and I, you know, that's, that's just not worth worrying about, really. Oh, these are so beautiful. So we have abundance. 
accept your gifts. I love the colors. I love the art style. Um, balance. Birch. Ceremony. Darkness. Beautiful. Wow. With the, I uh, just love that. Okay. Death. Wow. Oh, I love that. I can't wait to see um, how the guidebook reads. That These two are so brilliant at their guidebooks. Drought. Uh, they compose, you know, things so beautifully. Oh, I have a goddaughter, a Buddha daughter named Fern. She's my best friend's little girl. Um, God, that's beautiful. Forest bathing. Forest tears. Almost looks like someone from an Amazonian tribe. Oh, gatherer. Which is also, I think, the cover of the... Love that. Very much of an Empress vibe, yeah. Very Empress. Inner healer. Mmm. I love this. Ivy. Karmic debt. I'm curious to find out how they're going to define karmic debt. Um, light. Medicine woman. Oh, this is just, I love this so much. Oh, offerings. Oh, oh my God, that's so intense and wonderful. Plant seeds. Wow. That really, that really strikes me. Um, Hmm. Wow. Prayer. Prophetic dreams. Rise. Hmm. Yeah, I love that. Oh, River Woman. Run with the wolves. I wonder if they mention the, the Clarissa Pinkola, what was it, Pinkola Smith book, Women Who Run with the Wolves. It's a beautiful book. I don't know where my copy went. Um, Sacred Temple. Sacrifice. That really reminds me of um, Frida Kahlo. Mexican uh, folk magic. Interesting. Seer. Sight of Owl. Mmm. I'm so glad that's in here. Yeah. Oh, the jellyfish. Soul loss. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit of the East, Spirit of the North. Wow, these correspond with um, with the Tibetan mandala as well. Interesting, color and element. Yeah, Spirit of the South, same. Wow, that's a really fun discovery. And Spirit of the West. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay, Spirit Weaver. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Trinley. Be careful. Spiritual Journey. Trini. 
Thank you. The Ancients. Hmm. Yeah, so Ancestral Trinity. There we go, sweetie. Okay. Mountain. Shift. I wonder if that's the shift away from patriarchy. Or a shift that's, I want, I'm just curious, interesting. The shift or shift from light to dark or dark to light. These are the first men that have been seen in here. Thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. Awaken. That's very Vajra. That's, I mean, it's through all traditions, isn't it? I mean, there's so much, so much we share. Um, transform with Raven. Mm, warrior Woman. Wild Winds. Oh, womb. I oh love that. Oh, I love this artist, and you are sacred. Mm. God, these are stunning. Okay, let's look at this guidebook because um again, there these women write some kick-ass guidebooks um okay so they've also written a book about witchery and plant witchery with hay house i had no idea yeah earth mother thank you for all that you provide for your wisdom for holding us in your arms for so long okay and then all the card meanings about the artists the author about the artist that's wonderful so a message from the authors the two of us have had many conversations over the years about the development of our spirituality. It didn't take too long to realize that we almost always experience the same revelations in periods of growth and distress, and we feel the same age energies swirling in the world. And I feel that too. There's a lot here that feels, yeah. Um, we've been on the same wavelength since day one of our friendship, so it wasn't a surprise when a casual evening chat flowed into how ready we are to initiate a deeper level of spiritual healing. We both felt a calling to listen to the earth and to channel that wisdom into our teachings. We were both being called to a much richer path of self-love, self-honoring, and self-healing. Soon after this conversation, the idea for the Earthcraft Oracle was born. We often say we're the same person, but in different ways. The two of us have dedicated ourselves to the pursuit of truth and authenticity. Sometimes we laugh, other times we cry, but sometimes, and sometimes we have to kick each other in the butt. We hold each other accountable for letting our souls guide us, and we believe that it's our purpose to help others do the same. Yeah, the initiating energies of this deck are so at the core, are at the core of our practice of self. We are so thankful and honored to have channeled the wisdom of the Earthcraft Oracle for you to enjoy. We wanted to create an oracle that felt familiar but also fresh. The meanings and artwork of this deck are meant to guide you to new perspectives of healing and self-worth, using the earth as a supportive tool and guide. We want you to understand that you are such a sacred soul. You have magic within your being. And when you combine that with the magic of Mama Earth, you become a vessel of pure manifestation, joy, love, and vitality. Additionally, we do see this as an inclusive, empowering deck for all shapes, sizes, and colors, both authors as well as the artist, our POC, and we have worked together to make sure our deck reflects a variety of body types, hair textures, and skin tones. We want this to be a deck about inner magic, which includes the entirety of the human race. We hope this oracle provides you with deep and meaningful insights and that you find healing among these cards. Beautiful. Wow. So that is the Earthcraft Oracle. Um, 
again by Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson. And I really wanted to get this one out because um, I feel it's important to to really elevate. Um, it's, it's the best time of the year to elevate uh, non-white creators, you know. Um, is there ever a time that's not good to do that? I don't think there is, but yeah. I, I mean, around Kwanzaa, it felt really important to um, just to make sure I got this one out. I've had the deck for some time now, and uh, I've really been enjoying working with it. I filmed the first half of the video with the walkthrough um, quite a while ago, so I've had um, plenty of time to really enjoy working with this deck, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the readings are so deep and so filled with insights and... Um, God, that's a good one. It pretty much reads with almost any deck and it's going to add depth to the reading. You know, this is a, a team of creators, you know, um, Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson, who who have brought us the, the decks with Rockpool, you know, for Belt. They're coming up with the Beltane one next. Um, we've had Yule and Samhain. This one is just as exciting, if not more so. I especially really, really love the um, the illustration for these decks, or for this deck. Yeah, I just, it's so beautiful. And it's just, it's so vibrant and colorful. Yeah, I haven't found a deck yet that it doesn't match, <laughs> or that it doesn't go with. So if you're someone who really loves colors and... Um, you know, anything to do that with linking your, your practice to, you know, um, nature or any kind of earth-based practices, this one is going to go really, really well with it. Um, another deck that I want to pair it with, and I've only just gotten this one, is the Guardian Tarot. I'm going to do another, like, chat about the Guardian Tarot. This is a new one again. I, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> I've been wanting this one for a long time, but I'm really excited to read these two decks together because I feel like with the style and the colors, you know, this one, Earthcraft may kind of overwhelm it just a little bit in terms of color scheme and so forth, but I actually feel like these two are going to work really well together. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I have tried it once already with the Ravenous Dracon Tarot, which I also just got. I kind of really wanted to do a, like a Beth Salonen um, as a creator sort of dive. You know, I enjoy, yeah, this, I mean, this is a no-brainer, right? So you see this, a card like this one, right? You see the colors are just perfect. You know, they work so beautifully together. Um, the yellows and pinks, I mean, they're both so vibrant. You know, her line work is not as um, bold, maybe, as um, Danielle's. You know, Beth's is not as, as bold as Danielle's. But even still, the color palette is perfect. You know, the brightness of the colors is, is ideal. So that's been exciting. So anyway, yeah, I just, I'm excited about it. I wanted to share it. It's the first time I've seen, as I said in the in the video, it's the first time I've seen Hay House come out with a deck. Um, you know, they're, they're going a different direction, and I it's it's a positive direction. Um, it is informed by a lot of the, the statements we've all been making for years. I don't know what inspired them to finally hear it. Um, they probably had to see that these two creators were so capable um, in their other decks because, of course, women of color have to work about ten times harder than anyone else to have their work recognized as, as valuable. But it happened. It happened. So that's exciting. The other deck that uh, Hay House did, I cannot remember the name of it. Maybe I'll stick it, like, just here below. Um... I want to say it's Goddess Rising, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. It'll be below because I'll have had time to look it up. That is a deck I really am excited about as well. There are other books by that same author. And again, you know, in order to get taken seriously, she's got to be a PhD with, you know, a, a thousand other publications and, and so forth behind her. But they did it. And it's here. And it's now accessible to us. So, um... 
again, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, that's a deck that is on the list and I haven't gotten into it yet. It'll, it'll be showing up at some point. So there we go, folks. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.